He's coming now. He's coming now. Can you just try to be a little more quiet? So John Cena, the wrestler, actor, and rapper, is continuing to test his voice talents in the new movie, Ferdinand. So how did he do? Well, my name is Brennan Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, guys? Thank you so much for tuning in for my opinion slash review for Ferdinand. I really do appreciate it. But before we get into the review, help your boy out by clicking that subscribe button. Also, click the bell so you can be notified when I make uploads. And also, give me that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. So now we have Ferdinand. Like I said in my intro, it is being voiced by uh, John Cena. I said that he is continuing to test his voice talents because this is his second animated film to where he's using his voice. And the first one was Surf's Up 2 Wave Mania, uh, which I did not see. Now, this movie is being it's like an action adventure comedy 3D animation, of course. It's being put out by 20th Century Fox Animation, which may be uh, Disney pretty soon, and also Blue Sky Studio. And uh, Blue Sky Studio, this is kind of just kind of fun fact to me. This is the longest uh, animated movie that they've ever put out by like five or six minutes. Uh, the longest they put out before it was Rio 2, which came out a few years ago. And um, I saw the first Rio, but I didn't see Rio 2. And I thought the first Rio was pretty good. Uh, but the director is someone by the name of Carlos Sandanha or Carlos Sandanaha. And uh, he's really popular with Blue Sky Studios because he did a Rio 1 and Rio 2. And he also did the first four um, Ice Age movies. And I think I saw the first Ice Age movie, but, you know, they I think they're up to like five right now. And they just didn't interest me and just kind of got past me. But John Cena is the voice actor for the titular role of Ferdinand. Uh, he is a bull. And I'll get to, you know, the characteristics of the character later. But we also have a few other cast uh, famous stars as well. Uh, Anthony Anderson is in this movie playing somebody uh, by the name of Bones. Kate McKinnon that was in the latest uh, Ghostbusters movie. Movie, she's playing a bull by the name of um, of uh, uh, Gua not Guapo of uh, Lupe and Peyton Manning for um, for some re strange reason he's in this movie too. Um, this is his first full feature and he's playing a bull by the name of Guapo. And what Ferdinand is about this movie is based in Spain. And he's a baby calf or whatever. And he's like looking up to his father. And his father is like a bullfighter, you know, in Spain in the big arena going against the bullfighter or the matador. And, you know, it's just like put on to Ferdinand at a very young age. Like, hey, this we're bulls. This is what we do. We fight in the ring and we try to kill or we try to defeat the matador. And that's just kind of common ground for bulls in this day and age. But Ferdinand, he really just doesn't want to do that. I mean, it's just not in his blood. He wants to do something else. He's just like a, a very and when he was a calf he was a small baby calf um you know but he just likes flowers and playing around and rolling in the grass and you know just being nice and you know he just does, it's just not in his blood but you know something happens he grows up and you know he's uh he has to escape from his home or whatever but through just a number of unforeseen circumstances he gets you know kidnapped and taken back to his home and he gets thrown into the ring uh, of bullfighting and it's just something that he does not want to do um now this movie right here is not anything that i would say that i was looking forward to uh the most thing that i really did like about the movie was the character of Ferdinand by uh, john cena you know it's kind of funny that john cena is just a big huge uh a muscle guy just he wrestles or whatever he can possibly beat up most people that he runs into and he's playing this giant bull of Ferdinand but Ferdinand does not like to fight at all he's extremely non-violent turns the other cheek you know he just doesn't want to get into anything that's going to get him dirty or anything like that scuffed up so I just kind of like that contrast right there but Ferdinand he is a funny character or whatever um he's very smart uh he's very quick-witted you know um so I like that um, as far as the story is concerned, um, it's just a pretty straightforward story. To be honest with you, it is kind of predictable. Every time, you know, Ferdinand is mistaken as a, a, a raging bull beast or whatever. You know, he's not. I mean, if you was out in public somewhere and you saw a bull with these horns or whatever, you would possibly be scared. And everybody's afraid of Ferdinand when he goes into the town or when he's going to the flower festival. But, you know, some, just some of the things are just really predictable. Like, you just know that he's going to go into town and he's going to try 
tried to, you know, paint himself as a good pitcher that, hey, I'm really friendly, but something's going to happen and he's going to destroy the whole town or the city or whatever. And, you know, he's going to be mistaken as a beast. It's just a complete misunderstanding. But you can see that happening, you know, happening a mile away. Other jokes in this movie as well are very predictable, like, you know, people getting hit in the head with buckets or falling over a piece of rope or tripping over a basket you know you can just all see it kind of coming and it's just i mean you kind of chuckle here and there but it's not anything that where you're just going to be laughing your behind off you know and you know um it's just not anything like that um as far as the other characters are concerned you know peyton manning did an okay job anthony anderson did an okay job kate mccann kate mckinnon did an okay job as well um, the very end of this movie to me is very anticlimactic. You know, I was just kind of asking myself, OK, where is this movie going to go? And then when it gets there, I was just kind of saying to myself, OK, is this the climax of the movie? It's really not that special. There really isn't. I, not, I don't want to say really. There isn't anything that I would say that I did not like about the movie, but there was really nothing special about it other than Ferdinand's character and, you know, being voiced by John Cena, which I said I like, but John Cena being big. The bull being big, but he doesn't want to fight at all. But I will say that the funniest thing in the movie to me, and this is in the trailer, and I'm not going to spoil it for you. There is like a dance off battle between some of the bulls and um, like three of these very pretty, elegant horses. That was the funniest part of the whole movie to me. I laughed out loud hysterically all the way through and everybody else in the auditorium was laughing, too. Um, if I were to just kind of give this a word rating is something that I would call a cute little movie, but at the same time, it's nothing special. If I had to rate Ferdinand out of a one out of 10, I would give it a 6.5 out of 10. Yes, a 6.5 out of 10. But guys, that is just my opinion. Have you seen Ferdinand or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. If you don't, just leave me a comment below why. Also, subscribe to my channel. Look me up on my website. Also, social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy by providing a link to all this good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Ferdinand. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.